Hi boys and girls. Today in social studies, you're going to take a little break from the Studies Weekly magazine. And with Thanksgiving coming up here in just a few days, we are going to read about the Mayflower. So I am going to share my screen here with you. You have a copy of this in your packet. So you can follow along in your packet or um, the printed papers that came home with you yesterday. All right, what became of the Mayflower? Ever wonder what became of the Mayflower? The ship sailed with 102 pilgrims over the Atlantic to North America in 1620. If you are expecting to find it docked at some pier or in a museum, you'd be wrong. That's because the Mayflower most likely ended up as scrap wood and may have ended up in an old Quaker barn in Great Britain. It was common practice many years ago in England to use unseaworthy ship's timber to build new things. Dutch elm disease had killed many of the trees in 17th century Great Britain and lumber was very scarce. To preserve the number of oak trees from being cut for lumber, wood was priced quite high by the government. That made any available timber, such as that in old ships, very desirable. Since the Mayflower wasn't an important ship to the people of Great Britain, this is the fate that most likely happened to the Pilgrim's Mayflower. In the early 1900s, a Quaker historian named Rendell Harris found a document stating that the Mayflower had been determined to be unseaworthy. The year was 1624. The ship's owners then sold the oak ship for its timber to make some money. While attending a funeral at the Quaker Meeting House in Jordan's England, Harris heard someone say the barn had been built from wood of the Mayflower. That got Harris hunting through documents such as wills and deeds to try and find out whether this was true. The age of the barn's timber dates back to the time of the Mayflower, and the barn was said to have been built by one of the owners of the Mayflower. If you go to the barn, you will notice that the main beam in the barn has a huge crack in it, just like the Mayflower got on its maiden voyage during a bad storm. The size and weight of the hull used in the barn's construction matches that of the Mayflower and at one time, the letters E-R-H-A-R were evident, perhaps referring to Mayflower Harwich, the ship's home port. One thing is certain, if you tilt your head upside down, you can see that a hull of a old ship was used to build the roof of the barn. Whether it was the Mayflower, that can't be for certain. Very interesting. That, that very important ship to us could possibly now be part of a barn. For today, boys and girls, you have a little writing activity to do for social studies. Thinking about the Mayflower and those pilgrims that made the voyage, you are going to write a diary entry about a day on the voyage to America. So imagine that you are a passenger on the Mayflower making the trip to America and you are writing from that point of view. Think about what did you do? What do you think you saw? How did you feel? After you are finished with your diary entry, I would like you to then draw a picture of the Mayflower. We look forward to hearing about your adventure when you return to school.